There we go. Fish on. Fish on. <gasps> this is it. This is it. Yes. Yes, we did it, you guys. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. I am setting a big goal for myself for today and that goal is to catch a bucket list fish species. A fish that I have wanted to catch for a very long time and one of the absolute coolest species of fish in the entire world. Well, I have just made it to the fishing spot. I scouted this spot out a few days ago and it looked quite a bit different. There was actually a sandbar that extended about 100 yards out into the river, but it looks like the river has risen about five to 10 feet. And the sandbar that was once visible and fishable is now underwater. I don't know if this is going to be good. I, uh, I'm honestly pretty disappointed. But let's go ahead and try to stay optimistic and get some baits out there in the water. The fish that I am targeting is primarily a bottom feeder. And one of the baits that I've read it likes to eat are night crawlers. So I brought an absolute ton of night crawlers. And along with the night crawlers, I also brought some chicken livers. I've got a big old glob of night crawlers on my Carolina rig. This current is absolutely ripping today. The heaviest weights I have are eight ounce weights. I hope that is enough to keep my bait stationary. Let's find out. First cast. Oh, there's a bite. All right, guys, Sling has his bait. Oh, you guys, fish on. Fish on, fish on. Oh, we need to get him through the weeds. No, he's off. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. It is going to be extremely tricky landing these fish. There is a ton of weeds between me and the open water. I moved a little bit upstream and it looks like there is some slack water actually out here in front of me. And it appears I'll be able to actually land a fish if I hook into one. Let's toss some baits out right here. There's the take, there's the take. All right, I think something has this bait. There we go, fish on, fish on. Oh, this is it, this is it. Yes, 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 we did it, you guys. This is the species we are after. This is the bucket list species. I just caught my very first sturgeon. This is a shovel nose sturgeon. There are three types of sturgeon in the area. This one is the smallest of the three, but I will take it. What an interesting looking fish. All right, guys, something's on this rod too. Something's on this rod too. Okay, we just doubled up. First use of the landing net, and we've got ourselves a freshwater drum and a sturgeon. So cool. See you later, buddy. The spot that I am fishing is famous for the sturgeon that can be found beneath its depths, but I am surprised I was able to catch one so quickly. Now, that being a shovel nose sturgeon is the smallest of the sturgeon in my area. There are also lake sturgeon and pallet sturgeon, lake sturgeon being the biggest, and I've seen some pictures of some monstrous lake sturgeon being caught out here at this exact spot. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that freshwater drum to use for bait, and hopefully we'll be able to catch a monster sturgeon. When you look at a sturgeon, it is very easy easy to tell that they are bottom feeders with their mouth being on the bottom of their body and they've got barbels out in front of their mouth to find food. And here's the setup that I was using that caught that fish. I've got a Carolina rig with an eight ounce sinker. This current out here is crazy strong today. And below the sinker, I've got a worm hook loaded up with night crawler. I tossed it out in the slack water and that dude picked it up fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and toss it back out there and see what we can hook into next. Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Oh, 
No way. Yes, you guys, another one. Not as big as the first guy, but what an incredibly cool looking fish. Oh man, this guy is incredibly sharp. Gotta be careful handling these fish because I do not have any gloves. See you later, buddy. Now that we have caught two shovel nose sturgeon, which is crazy enough to say in itself, but let's go ahead and try to target a monster sturgeon. And to do so, I'm gonna switch out the night crawler with a piece of this freshwater drum. I've got a big chunk of that freshwater drum rigged up on my circle hook. Let's toss it out there. Go fish on. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is a bigger one. Oh, easy, buddy. There we go. Oh my gosh, biggest one yet. Still a shovel nose sturgeon but this is about as big as a shovel nose sturgeon gets. All right, so I guess I'm gonna start keeping track of the length of these fish because this is by far the biggest of the three. See you later, buddy. Although that was a really nicely sized shovel nose sturgeon, those lake sturgeon get in excess of 200 pounds and there very well could still be one out there hiding beneath the surface. I've got that freshwater drum on my second rod, so I am still hoping to hook into a monster, but what an awesome sturgeon that last one was. Oh, there's a take. Slack in the line. Something picked up this bait. Yeah, something's on there. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Oh, this one feels like a better fish. Holy smokes, I cast that last bait way out in the current. This dude picked it up almost immediately. There must be a tremendous amount of these sturgeon living out there beneath the surface. See you later, buddy. I have not gotten a single bite on this freshwater drum, so I am going to launch it as far out there as I possibly can. Hopefully this is where that monster sturgeon is hiding. Yeah, slings on there. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Just by looking at this fish, you can tell that they are meant to be swimming out there in the current. He is incredibly streamlined and he's got this giant tail. It almost resembles a shark tail to propel him through this fast moving water. What an incredibly cool species of fish. Let's go ahead and let him go. See you later, buddy. Okay, I think it is time we double our chances of catching a monster. Let's swap out this night crawler with another piece of that drum. Very nice. Oh, the guy out there in the boat just tossed out what looked like at least a 50 pound blue catfish. What's up? Biting something. Say that again? Something, something biting? Yeah, yeah, sturgeon. You got sturgeon? Yes. Oh, you already got. You, you got some? Oh, no, I catch and release. Ah. Yeah. There's one right there. Yep. Yeah, shovel no sturgeon. Nice. Yeah, with the X. X. Uh, caviar. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. We, we just coming for, to get the caviar. Oh, oh you, you're not taking this boat. No, I let go. Oh, let, let, give, 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 give. Yeah. How it, many, how it, many of these can you keep? Uh, whatever you want. So, give it to me. Yeah, oh, I just catch and release, just for fun. It's done. I just had a very interesting interaction. These two gentlemen came up to me. They wanted the fish that I just caught and they actually just tried taking it out of my hands. I didn't really appreciate that, so I let the fish go. But uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty weird. 
Oh, well, that guy just crossed my line. There you go. There we go, fish on. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a really nice fish. Awesome. Golly. Oh, man. Man, he got my hands really good. I am bleeding all over the place. See you later, buddy. The spines on those fish are incredibly sharp. Okay. Well, it is not a shovelnose sturgeon, but it is another freshwater drum. And this guy is quite a bit bigger than the first one I caught, too. See you later, buddy. All right, guys, something has this bait. There we go, fish on. Fish on, fish on. Yet another one. Let's try not to cut up our hands this time. See you later, buddy. Well, next time I go fishing for sturgeon, I will definitely bring gloves because my hands got tore up. In my opinion, sturgeon are some of the coolest fish in the entire world and one that I've wanted to catch for what seems like an eternity. And not only did we catch our first sturgeon today, we caught an absolute ton of shovel nose sturgeon but I know there has to be some monster lake sturgeon hiding out there as well. We just did not catch one today. So you better believe I'll be back out here to try to target one of those guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it. If you a thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. I'll catch you guys on the next one. In the future has come. Oh. Okay, that was a fail. Let's go ahead and try that again. Oh, jeez, Louise.